Go to a search engine and type in GeForce Now. Click on the link that takes you to the NVIDIA website for GeForce Now. Now that you're on NVIDIA's website, click the green Join Today button. You'll be given two options, free or the paid Founders Membership. Pick whichever option you prefer. I'm personally going for the free option. Click the Join button on your preferred option. Log in with your NVIDIA account details. These are the details you'd use to log into NVIDIA GeForce Experience if you use that app already. If you don't have an NVIDIA account, click the Create Account button. Fill out all the details giving your email, a display name, a password, a date of birth, and agree to the terms and conditions. Then finish the I'm not a robot capture and click Create Account. Next, you'll get some privacy settings. Read them carefully and choose the ones you like. I chose personally to opt out of both of them and just click continue. Verify your email. Your account is not verified yet and requires you to log into your email and click the verification link. So you'll need to do that for Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, or whatever email client you use. Once you've verified your email, it may take you straight to the screen I'm on. If not, go back to a search engine, go back to the GeForce Now website and click login in the top right hand corner. Once you've logged in, I'm on the GeForce Now page for my profile, and it currently says you don't have an active paid membership. To activate the membership, click Join. This will take you back to the GeForce Now website. Once again, click Join Today and then Join on the option that you want again, whether that's free or founders. This process is a little bit annoying because you have to repeat the steps but this ensures that your page gets the membership option assigned to your account. As you can see, I got the unexpected error screen due to lots of people trying to sign up at the same time. Just click retry if you encounter this and it should work. As you can see, it has now assigned the free option to my GeForce Now account page. To download a GeForce Now client application, click on the download app screen at the bottom left of the page. This will take you to a page where you can download the client application for Windows, Mac OS, Nvidia Shield, or Android. Pick the option for whatever device you'd like to play on. For me, that's Windows PC. Once the file is downloaded, click it to run and install like any other application. If you're on Android or Shield TV, you don't need to do this as it will automatically install for you. Once it's installed, open the GeForce Now app and then click Login in the top right hand corner. Type in your email address, your password, and finish the I'm not a robot capture, and then click Login. Once you've logged in, in the top bar, search for a game you'd like to play through GeForce Now. In this example, I'm going to be playing League of Legends. So I type in the name and then click the plus library button to add the game to my library. Hover over the game tile in your library that you'd like to play and then click on the play button. GeForce Now will then do a connection test and see whether your connection is able to play the game. In my instance, because GeForce Now detected I was on a VPN, it suggested I should not play till I disconnected from it. I clicked on continue anyway because I know my connection and I can play over a VPN just fine, but your connection might not be stable. You'll need to test whether your connection is adequate, and I suggest playing a couple of games to make sure that your connection can actually handle playing any sort of game over GeForce Now. Now, you just wait for your game to load. From there, you either log into your game client or into Steam, and you can start playing the game you'd like to play. Once you finish playing, to quit your session, press Ctrl plus G, and it will bring up this overlay, where you can either open your gallery of screenshots or save videos, you can start recording a new video, you can take a screenshot, or you can toggle your microphone on and off. At the very bottom, there'll be a quit button, or you can use the shortcut keys of Alt plus F4 to quit the game that you're currently playing. GeForce Now will then ask if you're sure to quit, and if you are, click the quit button. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video tutorial and found it useful. Please leave us a like, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and tell us what games you're playing on GeForce Now in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.